Hey everybody, welcome back to my modern homestead. I'm Janet, for those of you who are new here. If you're not new here, welcome back. I'm glad to have you. Today we're doing a short video on how I cared for my plants when I found a spider mite infestation. Unfortunately, around Thanksgiving, I lost two of my plants because I didn't know what I was doing and I didn't know what was wrong with them. But luckily, by the time I found something wrong with my third plant, which, which just happened to be my favorite plant that I've kept alive for so long, despite my husband's doubts in me, <laughs> he says plants wilt when they see me coming so that I won't take them home. Anyway, I figured out what was wrong with it, and I found a way to treat it. So in this video, I tell you how I made my homemade insecticidal soap, and I also used neem oil. You guys, I didn't know you're not supposed to get it on your skin. I had already done this twice by the end of this video. And <laughs> I looked at the thing on the instructions and it says warning for skin. If it gets on your skin to contact poison control. I didn't contact poison control. I still have my hands. I don't have any strange rashes. I do wonder, worry about what it might do to the inside of me, but there's nothing I can do about it now. I was scared to look it up, so don't tell me. <laughs> I'm teasing. Oh, but if you guys do it, please use gloves, and I will use gloves next time. So, let's go. Okay guys, at the first sign of spider mites, you want to make some insecticidal soap. This is, um, I started with about 40 ounces of water, and then I added in a teaspoon of um, Dawn detergent, just regular dish detergent, the blue kind, and a half a teaspoon of my Shackley Basic H2. I just mixed it all together. And all I want to do is spray down the top of each leaf and especially the bottom because that's where spider mites like to go. You'll recognize the spider mites by little tiny webs on your plants. And if you look real close, you'll see the white mites crawling around. And they will kill your plants, so if you don't go ahead and treat it, you might as well throw it away. Because I've already lost two of my plants before I realized what was going on. That's what I get for not paying attention. I've never done house plants before. My husband always teases that plants wilt when they see me coming in the store, praying I won't take them home. I am determined to keep these alive and healthy. So if these die, <laughs> it's not for my lack of trying. Just spray the leaves real good. You can buy insecticidal soap, but I just I prefer making my own. I like doing things as natural and healthy as I can, even for my plants. So just spray it real good. And once you have all the leaves well soaked, and just take it to your shower and spray it off. I try to lean it so that the water goes on the leaves and not the soil because I've already watered it. I don't want it too wet. As you can see, this is going to run down into the soil. But anyway, just keep going until all the leaves are covered. And I should say too that um, this will need to be, not the insecticidal soap, but the neem oil that you put on after this needs to be repeated within seven to 14 days, depending on how bad your um, infestation was. This is a lot easier than the other plant I did. <laughs> They're not as many leaves. Just put on your grungy clothes because you're gonna get wet. It's gonna be messy. Really make sure you coat the underside. 
because that's where the mites like to live. Okay, I just took it over to the shower and rinsed it as best I could. I just tilt it over to try to get the bottoms of the leaves and the tops of the leaves without soaking the soil as best as I can. You'll get the soil wet, it's okay. It'll live, hopefully it's not already too soaked when you begin. So at this point, I will just apply the insect, excuse me, the neem oil, just like I did with the other plant. And then we'll be done. Before I do the neem oil, I am going to dry these leaves a bit. This is good to do anyways, guys, just to free the dust off of your leaves so they can breathe well and they'll shine a little bit better. So even if you don't have an insect infestation, it's a good idea to do this every so often. But I'll admit, I'm awful about this part. Just keep going around till it's all dry. Here we go. Let's apply the neem oil. Start with your bottom leaves. Get the underside. I like to spray the soil around the edges of the pot, the base of the plant. Just really make sure you get the underside of these leaves. Get the stem of the plant. And just keep going till you've got all the leaves done. There we go. I'm just going to give this a good shake. Get some of that excess running off. There we go. And done. I'll leave it here to let it dry. Then we're all good to go.